not for Shinda here. So, the mirror. Super cute, right? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I took my plain frameless mirror and decorated it with these faux vines. So if you want to see how I did that, keep on watching. Here are the hooks I used. I had a few left over from when I did my faux vine wall. You're going to pull apart the hooks and the sticky tabs. Grab one hook and one sticky tab, take the red and white film off, and then place it flush with the top of the hook. Make sure the opening of the hook is facing upwards like the letter U. I only used eight hooks for this project. Now let's get started. I placed three hooks at the top, one on the left, middle, and the right side. I used three vines at the top and had them dip, but not too much. You can also keep yours straight if that's what you prefer. Now we're moving on to the sides. I used a piece of tape to see if that's where I wanted the vines. Once I had the placement right, I took the tape off and replaced it with the hook. I draped two vines over the hook. For the first vine, I made it where one side was longer. And for the second vine, I made it to where the opposite side was longer. Y'all know how one side of a candy cane is longer? Like that. Here I'm adding a vine to the top and adjusting it to make it fuller. I use my hands to glide across the mirror to line the left side hook up with the right. I ended up putting three vines on the left side and didn't even realize it. It does look a lot fuller than the right so you just decide if you want to use two or three vines per hook. I'm adding a vine to the top left, just like I did on the right. The top wasn't as full as I wanted it, so I draped a fourth vine, but I had to use tape because the hooks only hold three vines comfortably. And if you remember, there's already four vines on the top left and the top right. On to the bottom of the mirror. Just like the top, I put a clip U side up, on the left, right, and middle. I put one hand on each side of the mirror and brought my hands together until they touched to find the middle. I placed three vines across the bottom, straight, with no dips. The vines are longer than the width of the mirror, so they will hang off to the side and we'll get to what you can do with those in a minute. For the ends of the vines that were hanging off to the sides, I pulled the vines upward but gently so they don't come out of the hooks and then taped them in place. Anytime you're using tape with these faux vines, try to place the tape between the leaves and not directly on them because the tape will most definitely mess them up. The bottom was looking a little spacey so I placed a fourth vine on top and folded the ends inward and secured them with tape. I put a part of the tape on the mirror and around the vines to the baseboard, but I used thin strips because like I said, you don't want to get that tape on the actual leaves. Here's the finished product. I love how it turned out. It just added a little bit of spice to that part of my room.
thank you all so much for watching if you're thinking about doing this for yourself let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys in my next video